Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking love marriage hunts. Well, y'all know why y'all here. Anything I say is alleged, and in my personal opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. None of this is personal, ever you guys uh so we need to talk about uh the triangle that is trisha ken and marquez you guys uh so a few things um first and foremost uh trish was one of stormy's guests on her most recent tiktok live for black friday as you can see here in the screen grab uh, there was a section where Stormy was, uh, you know, putting some drops on Trish and, and all the things, uh, and said that it's, uh, basically said that it, and it was interesting because Stormy said this about a few of the products, but basically said, I know it's a lot right now. I know it's, um, it's still like, it hasn't completely dried yet. And I was like, okay. Um, but, but nonetheless, uh, that is where Trish was yesterday. Uh, the hair, looked a lot better uh th than some of the stuff that she's been wearing previously so um much better there um and then uh the other thing i wanted to get to in regards to uh this triangle was the other day this was a couple days ago marquez had posted in his stories who um he had a screenshot he had a picture of a wheel uh that was a clearly a mercedes and said thank you uh and tags ken for the gas with uh for he has the gas and gas emoji money emoji and laughing emoji and then ken reposted and said all right now pull up let's get in on this game and get a plate because this was on turkey day right so that led me to believe, which I told you guys in my previous video about this whole nonsense, is I feel like there's more to this story. I feel to this more there's more to this story, but like I said, which I'll get to in a moment, it's easier to push this deadbeat dad narrative in, in all capacities that that trying to present that Marquez isn't in contact with the kids. We've we obviously see that's been debunked. Uh that Marquez doesn't have any money, even though Ken said that he lived in these nice high rise condos in Atlanta and, and he just recently just bought a house uh back to move back to Huntsville. Uh, so, and you're driving a Mercedes and, and you don't afford gas. Uh, mm, I don't know. I, I feel like there's something else regarding this money thing. I, I don't buy that he did not have enough gas uh, to drive a couple of hours uh, to um, from Atlanta to Huntsville. Uh, so, so with that, um, they also posted, you guys, a family photo with the kids and with Marquez and Ken next to each other, you guys, and tagging Huntsville. So, um, I didn't want to post the kids or anything like that, but I just feel there's more to this story, you guys. And, and this is my opinion. I don't have any inside information. I haven't talked to the cast or anything like that. Here's what I think, right? I think, obviously, since Ken wanted to do this show, Ken wanted to be reality TV famous, whatever, you know, because Trisha's situation is messy, and still is messy, because as of now, she's still legally married to Marquez, basically, they felt, okay, a way to sell this story is if we present Marquez as an absentee father altogether with zero involvement in the kids' lives, that is going to make people more sympathetic to you right and that is going to quiet the noise as to why it's been so many years that you refuse to get a divorce right but then the problem was when the camera started rolling is all of these inconsistencies right and then people found uh receipts on facebook that i believe those photos are now since deleted but it was contradicting the timelines that trish kept saying on camera it was different years it was different timelines of when her and marquez separated it was different years and different timelines of when her and ken got together it was uh different timelines different years of if something did or didn't happen with Martel, if you did see Martel, if you didn't make it to the gym with Martel, she's saying you saw him once, Martel saying you guys have 
been at his house at his marital home more than once and, and so when you are proving to be not credible it, it's hard to take seriously all of these other things right and so then the other issue was once Marquez comes into the picture after a couple months of filming which I still don't understand how he believed he was signing a release for his daughter to be on a dance show similar to Bring It or Dance Moms when I don't remember the last time that show was on TV. But nonetheless, uh, you know, for whatever reason, he bought it until his uh, oldest child hit him up and was like, Dad, production is telling me to hate you. Production is telling me you're a deadbeat and all these things. And, and obviously it's not true. No Marquez may not physically at the time had lived in Huntsville, but to say that he was just not involved in his kid's life at all well, was completely inaccurate, right? So then now he has to come on the show trying to defend himself, but it's all a whole uh you know slew of emotions because obviously there's still something there as it pertains to trish and marquez uh there's hurt there there's there's whatever there but there's also something else there because again trish you know went from saying that the divorce wasn't filed to then saying it was filed and the divorce papers just needed to be signed and then it appeared uh the menu signature of quote unquote divorce papers at that restaurant uh happened but apparently it's not legitimate uh because it never happened because the actual divorce filing you guys just happened recently as in a few weeks before the reunion film so it, it's just the lies for me right and then we have Ken, who, uh, you know, there was all the drama. Remember, you guys, the Messy Mondays interview back when it actually was Messy Mondays with Carlos King and Dr. Heavenly? Remember, it was supposed to be a couple's interview with Ken and Trish. But I think some of the backlash and some of the reaction to the fans who were calling out the lies, calling out the inconsistencies, calling out the thirst for Martel Holt, uh, Ken felt a certain type of way and they got into an argument and Ken was not at that interview, you guys. And remember even Ken said in a future interview that he and Trish get into it to the point that he has to physically be away from her for a few days. That he has to go either to stay at a hotel or there's been other times that he goes completely out of town. So it's not all roses and rainbows as people want to make it seem. The, the situation is very dysfunctional as far as I'm concerned, right? And the other side is the people wanting to give Ken a cookie for doing what is supposed to be done in any situation. If you are knowingly going to get involved with a woman who has children, obviously at some point in time, she's going to feel comfortable enough if she feels it's going to be serious to introduce you to those kids. And obviously she would expect you to uh, be some sort of a, um, you know, a male figure in the house that is going to take the proper responsibilities. Like I don't understand why this is such a big deal, right? Because point blank, unless you're just a pick me, there, there's no way you're going to put up with anybody just being around your kids and treating your kids any old type of way, right? So, so, so that goes without saying. Uh, and then the other thing that I wanted to say as well is it seems, like I said, it seems whatever narrative was supposed to happen did not go well. And Trisha's lives on camera did not help matters. And then when Marquez really came on Messy Mondays with Dr. Heavenly and exposed that, that there was so much that people didn't know and, and what his kids were telling him, that just blew the lid off of everything. But then what I didn't like was Ken going on social media trying to, you know, make allegations about, you know, Marquez's sexuality and then trying to, you know, put out all this information about the kids when they have practice, what activities they were involved in and all this and that, trying to really sell that, that yes, I'm their dad. And it's like, well, no, these kids still have a dad, right? And for all intents and purposes, Marquez has showed receipts that he very much is involved with his kids' lives, whether he was physically in Huntsville or not. And that is an opposite narrative that the show was painting, right? So like I said, soften the blow of presenting somebody who was married to somebody else who had a, a living boyfriend and still was lusting after Martel.
Uh, so, so nonetheless, um, and then the other side that also gave me pause was again, in addition to that social media activity, insulting fans of the show and, and trying to age shame them and say that they're all sick with, uh, you know, and need dialysis in the morning and all these things. It, it just was completely unnecessary. Right. And he, even till this day is still getting triggered by comments and things by fans, which is not okay. And the other final thing was, again, the, the, the double talking on this attraction to women who are married with kids in whatever capacity, whether they're separated or recently divorced or whatever, you have a track record. And nonetheless, you get some type of kick of being involved in these messy situations and wanting to, you know, basically pseudo adopt these kids, uh, regardless of what their relationship is with their actual father. But nonetheless, everybody, regardless of situations, right? There, there's always going to be people. If, if you have, you know, a not so good relationship with a, a particular relative or whatever, and you're still overwhelmingly, you know, loved by your family and loved by everyone else, people are going to take you and people are going to step in and make sure that you're having a good life. That's automatic. So I, I just, I, 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 I'm glad, you know, for the sake of Thanksgiving, uh, everybody was able to come together, but I just feel like whatever narrative they thought they were going to present completely flopped. And I feel like we're just back at square one. We're back at square one and nowhere to go on, on what to believe and what not to believe. So there's that. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.